Hey guys, there's a ton of land here in Maine and a lot of it has farms on it. Anywhere from picking blueberries, buying some jams, petting a cow. So we're gonna talk about a few farms that you can't miss. Let's do this. All right, everybody, uh, like I said, we're going to talk about farms today. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this. I actually really like farms, although when I was younger, a friend of my father's had a farm up in Harmony, Maine. For like a couple weeks, I went up and like helped her. She had a pretty big garden. And I got to admit, it was the hardest work I think I've ever done. So I'm not a huge fan of the work that the farmers have to do. So kudos to you, all you farmers out there. First farm I want to talk about is Harris Farm. Harris Farm is in Dayton. If you're not familiar where Dayton is, it's kind of like, you know, Saco Bitterford and then Dayton is like over here. This is a family owned farm, offers a wide selection of fruits and vegetables, including corn, strawberries, blueberries, tomatoes, pumpkins, you know, depending on the season, of course. There's a great farm store there that you can go in and purchase, you know, whatever you want there and get some ooh, homemade pies and ice cream and stuff like that. So uh, definitely if you're down in that area, go check out Harris Farm. You won't be uh, disappointed. Next up, Smiling Hill Farm. This is in Westbrook, Maine. So it's in the greater Portland area. This is a cool farm. You know, I drive by this a lot and it really is like a picturesque farm when you drive by it. Like, ooh, that looks cool. It's very, very inviting. And uh, these guys are known for their dairy products. So they have a lot of fresh milk. Apparently they got great blueberry milk. So try that out. Milk, cheese, yogurt, ice cream. I've had the ice cream. It's fantastic. A lot of great family friendly activities there. Tours. There's uh, petting zoos so you can pet the cows. Lots of seasonal events. Uh, so definitely keep an eye on you know what's happening over there at Smiling Hill Farm. Great place right in Westboro, very close to, to Portland. Um, so if you just want to head on over there for like an afternoon, you know, check it out. It's a, it's a great farm. And what, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't been there, when you drive by, you'll be like, Wow, that's cool. Next up, I got Spiller Farm, which is in Wells, Maine, which is further south on the coast. This is a very charming farm with their focus on pick your own produce. So you can go there and you can pick your own fruits and vegetables, strawberries, blueberries, uh, raspberries, pumpkins. It also features a great farm stand where you can get your own homemade jellies, jams, some baked goods, fresh cut flowers. Picking your own stuff is actually a whole lot of fun. So if you're, if you're into that or if you want to try that, if you've never done it, I would head down to Spiller Farm and check that out. It's a lot of fun picking your own stuff. If you're enjoying this video and it's a lot of good information to you, please remember to hit subscribe and hit that little bell so you get notified when new episodes come out. We do a one or two a week and a lot of great information around the real estate market or just anything going on in Maine, kind of like this video. So again, remember to hit subscribe and thank you for supporting the channel. On to Pineland Farm. I mean, if you're going to talk about farms in Maine, you have to talk about Pineland Farm. It's a huge farm up in New Gloucester, Maine, and they actually own a ton of land up there. Whenever you're driving around in that area, it's just you'll always see signs like owned by Pineland Farm. They own a ton of land. This is almost like a destination. You know, if you're going there, it offers a huge range of farm products, including grass fed beef, poultry, vegetables, eggs, just a ton of stuff. And you can purchase all these things at their stores. You know, they got local cheeses, honeys, uh, just I mean, everything you can think of. But probably the coolest thing about this farm is there's tons of activities to do there. You can hike. You there's there's biking trails, there's disc golf there, there's an es 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 equestrian facility. Why couldn't I say that? Just like there's a pony building. There's a pony building. Thank you, the woman behind the curtain. And this really makes it a very, very unique farm for the outdoor enthusiast. So if you love farms and or if you just like getting outside, I mean, this is a very, very cool farm. It's a very clean facility, great place to go. You could spend all you could spend a couple days there. I even think they have like a wedding venue there and all that kind of stuff. So definitely check out Pineland Farms if you're into farms. That's definitely like the, the one to check out in Maine for sure. Last but not least, we're going to talk about one that's like here in Cape Elizabeth where I am and our offices. It's called Jordan Farm. It's a picturesque farm and it's known for its uh, scenic landscapes, high quality produce. There's a great little farm stand there so you can go in there and get fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, including strawberries, blueberries, corn, tomato squash, and they all using sustainable farming practices. Uh, really just a great farm. And the store there, like I said is great. There's also a lot of like homemade jellies, jams, baked goods, stuff like that, all locally sourced, which is really, really awesome. The other 
cool thing I want to point out about this. There's a seasonal restaurant there called The Well. You have to make reservations. It books up fast. You want to get in there, um, like in the beginning of the summer, you're going to want to, you know, get on there and like book your reservation. It's really very cool. It's a small little place. It's a set menu. I've been there a couple times and it's really spectacular. All the food is cooked with everything from the farm. And like I said, it's a set menu. So they just like start throwing food in front of you. It's amazing. And the setting's fantastic. It's this little cool building. You're kind of in the middle of the farm, great uh, views of the farm, and uh, it's really spectacular. So I highly recommend checking that out. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. If you've been to one or all of these, let, let me know. Let me know what's your favorite. Would love to hear that comment below. And remember, if you make me in your home, you don't have to do it alone. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and one of these buttons over here. You get a lot of great information about real estate, the state of Maine, cool things to do, all that kind of stuff. And of course, if you have any questions at any time, comment below or hit us up on all social media platforms and we'd love to help you out. And uh, we love talking about Maine.